Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number 13. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Dynamic Chart Series 12 to 16. We got a great video here. I want to make a dynamic uh, stock chart based on sl uh, current stock market data. I have my uh, tickers here, my uh, labels that I can look up in the stock market. I want to get the current price. Here is our target. All right, um, to get, we're going to make a web query down here that'll, uh, using a built in feature in Excel, that will look up these stock quotes. I'm going to go up to data, get external data, existing connections in 2003, it's data, get external data, and then you have to, uh, yeah, it's existing connections too. All right, and then down here, um, this may look different than earlier. I think it's just the, the file names. Stock quotes, I'm just this is a built-in one. I'm going to double click that. It says where do you want to put it? Right there's OK. I'm going to click OK and here it is. You don't type these in like I've seen in some books. Well I'm just going to link these. Uh, you could type them in here uh, separated by commas. But here I just got some cell cells so I put them right there. Use this value refresh for future refreshes. Yeah that way we can have a live chart. That's the, in essence, the part of it that's going to be dynamic. Click OK. It's waiting. Now um, it's 12.43. I think the stock markets are still open. Let me see if I right click, right click refresh. Refresh is all the way down at the bottom. So this should be uh, live data refresh. OK, so it is. It's live data. Now I'm going to get, um, notice these are in the same order, so I can highlight this range in that cell, active cell at the top. I click right there, Control Enter. Now the problem if I make a chart based on the actual um, values here, Alt F1, is that we have some very big values. And the one of the very beautiful things about percentages and proportions is if you convert something to a pro pro proportion or percentage, then you can compare big and small numbers. Now, let's just do a percentage. We have our targets here, right? Uh, Goog, that one divided by whatever our target is, right? Now we have these percentages. Highlight the label and the stock names, control key to highlight cells not next to each other, non-contiguous. I'm going to Alt F1, that's the default chart. Um, change a couple things here. Right click, uh, I'm sorry, Control 1. I'm going to do fill very. Close, uh, right click data labels. Don't need this. Okay, and so now this should be live as we, um, it might not change much, but here's the chart. If I come down here and right click refresh, let's see if it changes. Not yet, not, or I didn't notice if it, if it did. Uh, right click refresh. Uh, let me increase the decimals, maybe it's uh, so small. Control 1, number. Percentage, I'm going to say uh, four decimal places. Let's see what happens there. Right click. Anyway, even if I can't get this to work right now, maybe the stock, oh, there it is. They're changing. But this is live. You come in next week, uh, it'll tell you what your um, percentages are, and it's dynamically linked to the stock market. Our next video, we're going to do some, we're going to use the same web query and do a progress chart and turn these on their sides and add some cool labels and stuff like that. Uh, but this is just an excellent way to use the uh, built in go get data from the stock market for a chart. We'll see you next trick.